Hello and welcome back everyone, and this is the third part in our rocket experimentation in space simulation toolkit. Good news! After creating 30 rockets, that that's right, if if you wanna if you don't believe me, I created three different lines of rockets and in, in many of them. So we've got the LPV series, the LPX series. And then the normal rocket series. Anyways, I, I went through, I created 30 of them, and I finally made one that really works well enough to make a video that isn't just me failing over and over again. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to open up the chamber for the fuel to go into our thruster. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to heat, let that go through a tiny bit. We're gonna just let a couple of frames go by so that we have fuel in here. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna heat up that fuel to very hot, you're gonna see that we have ignition and the good thing, look at that! Do you see what is happening? Are you, are you witnessing this? Are you, okay, okay, let's talk about a few, a few things going on here. The fire is not traveling all the way up through the rocket and blowing it up. It is actually accelerating it into the atmosphere. It is not fizzling out. It will once it hits a certain lack of uh, pressure, but do you, do you see this? Do you see the progress that I have made? This took a long, long time, and the design that I've come up with is uh, pretty, pretty effective. Um, as you can see, it's starting to struggle a little bit as the pressure goes down because there's less fuel in it. But that was a successful launch, far more successful than any of our prior launches, and it is just, it is just glorious. It is legitimately glorious. I think there's more improvements that can be made, but I'll go over some of the design considerations that were made also. Uh, oops. Oopsies. Um, I'll go through some of the design considerations, why it works, whereas the other ones did not. But uh, we have something really good now to start with. All right, all right, all right. I'm just, I'm just saying that was cool, right? You expected it to not work after all of the not working we had before. Oh wait, that was LPX9. I have newer ones. I just skipped over. One second, let's go over to LPX13. Hopefully, it's luckier than Apollo 13. Okay, let's go ahead and see how this one does. Oh yeah, so that that is definitely a more aggressive burn, 100%. Okay, now I remember what's better. This one just burns a little bit better. Um, also, the question is, how high could this go if it was actually actively steered? So if we just use a rotate tool to kind of, you know, steer it a little bit, how how far could it actually get into like a steady orbit? If we look at it comparatively to the planet, it is, it's pretty far up. It's pretty far up. It's struggling at this point now to get further. It's trying to land. It's trying to land. Can it land? Are we SpaceX? Can we ran land a rocket? Ocean landing? Ocean landing. We're going to ocean land it. You have to admit though, this is pretty cool. Like the fact that it works at all. <laughs> It, it, it was a a whole lot of development went into this uh, rocket and getting all of the physics options proper. Oh, that looks really cool with it landing in the ocean. I should give it arms so that it can actually properly land. I'm trying to I'm trying to get it straight, but it's it's really challenging. <laughs> it's really challenging. There it goes again. It's trying to lift the. Oh no, the fire went out. Okay, yeah. So there, there is a point at which it's going to just fizzle out, and uh, now it's just dumping fuel. All right, so now that we have this, I'm going to make the slight changes that he suggested, which is going to be taking fire and making it a little bit different. We're going to go into the fire settings, and we're going to change a couple of things. All right, cool. So I think what that does is it makes the particles kind of influence touching particles to... Uh, Oh, geez. Yeah, it's a little... This is a little unstable right here. I have some issues with this weld joint here overheating. Um, but we're gonna ignore that. It's fine. What could possibly go wrong? We're gonna rebuild the whole thing at some point anyways. This 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 rocket design has been enough for me to uh, 
to start a V2 eventually. Um, the big improvement though, other than the self-heating engine area, as you can see, this part stays hot so that it'll light the stuff on fire. Um, the other huge thing is having these curled bottom bits, which you don't have in the real world. You want all of the, all of the obvious exhaust to go out. Uh, as quickly as possible but in our case it holds some of the flaming uh, some of the, the the burning fuel and it causes the fuel to burn much more efficiently in the combustion chamber um so not not the most we give up a lot of thrust to it but it ensures that the the engine never goes out it never flames out okay let's see how this goes oh actually that is much better i'm, I'm curious if we turn the damping force up even further um because I can just do that while the simulation is running. Let's grab the damn thing, we'll double it. I wanna see how this uh, improves behavior. Oh yeah, it really does. It makes it fly out in like a far more consistent line. Well, that's really cool. This one is actually getting much, well, maybe it didn't make a huge difference. Maybe I'm just crazy. Um, Let's also try, I'm gonna try increasing the size of the hole here to get a little bit more thrust. Oh, that made a big difference, actually. That made a really big difference. <laughs> no! We have internal failure. Oh, that wasn't good. The whole thing went off. I'm kind of wondering if the, the ninth rocket is actually better than the 13th. It did not have the issues with the whole thing blowing up. I wonder if I regressed a little bit. I wonder if I regressed a little bit and if I can just improve that one. All right, here we go. We have our uh, LPX9 here, which I, I think is just gonna become like our go-to at this rate, unless it shows up with the same issue. But I think, I think this, I was cooking. I think this is my maximum cooking. Like I cooked very well, and I'm just gonna open this up a little bit further. And the other thing that Mr. SST said is to uh, to increase the mass of fire, so it would it would push harder. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try that out. Now we'll see what happens. It could it could go horribly. It could go very well. There's there's no way to know without trying. Okay. Ooh, that was a lot of force. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of force. <laughs> oh, okay, but but look, ah, uh, it's not it's not staying lit. It's not staying lit. See, that was that was the issue before. If it would just stay lit, it's actually going so much further this time. That one got like way further. Well, now it's now it's burning again because it's upside down. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Oh man. I mean, it made it, it made it pretty far. Oh, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. It was it was going so well. Um, but but the end of the day, we do have a rocket that works. LPX9 is like a, a beautiful piece of engineering. We're going to do this again with the massifier, and we are going to take oil, and we're going to modify how easily temperature moves through it, the thermal conduction. I'm gonna increase it by 30%. This, this might be, this might lead to like a runaway, like huge explosion in the entire loss of the uh, vehicle. But that's the price I'm willing to pay for science. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no. No! Oh, it's always so, it's so good while it's working. And then it just, if it could just continue, oh, wait, 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 wait. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep, it's just that heat issue. Like if, if the, if the engine remains alive, if it doesn't go out, if you keep warming it a tiny bit, seriously, seriously, you get some real lift. Like that is way further out than we've gotten in the past. Far enough that we might actually be able to get into orbit if I turn off my alarm. Like if I'm if I'm able to manually do this and just ensure that the, the engine keeps going, we may actually be able to clear clear the planet. We'll see if I've got enough got enough delta V left in here. 
it's not it's not beautiful but i wonder if i gave it another another burst oh no i melted part of the i melted part of the the actual engine i think i think i'm making my point though that like this this program does not suck i'm not talking about ssd i mean my rocket program like the space program is there there is a way to go forward this time we we cleared like what almost halfway around the world halfway around the world is not bad we may clear it we may actually orbit once there's there's a lot of there's a lot of momentum here oh other way other way other way no we're going down i mean but we made it halfway around the world that's not bad um probably i don't know 30 percent more 30 percent more energy and we could have made it I keep I keep telling myself like I'm not going to keep using this rocket. I'm gonna make a new one, but I feel like I feel like I can get this one into orbit. Like I'm very confident that this one can do it, given a few changes. So let's do those changes. I'm going to take fire and I'm going to increase the repulsion force on it to five and a half. I'm going to increase the dampening again, like that other simulation we did, because I think it's important to do. I'll turn the mass up a little bit like Mr. SST recommended. You can make fire bigger, but you can also make oil smaller, which means I can pack more. Like a lot more. <laughs> Actually, why didn't I do this before? That's an excellent idea. Like, let's just make oil really small, like half of its current size okay that's why wow holy moly <laughs> i guess the rocket needs to be a little bit more stable if we're going to do that so much energy was released that the entire world has just melted excellent Admittedly, admittedly not my plan, uh, but I feel like that is the correct way to do it. We just have to be a little bit less extreme. Okay, new plan is, oh, man, this is so annoying. I wonder if I can just delete some of the nodes over here to get it to stop doing this. Okay, uh, we got oil. We got the size of oil. I'm gonna set it to zero point seven that actually worked okay and now before the game punishes me too hard for that we're going to put more oil we're gonna put a lot more oil we're gonna set the particle spacing on oil to 0 0.1 and we are going to pack it in like really pack it in okay that's the max i can do that's the max can i can i undo that can i fix that before it okay we, this rocket is so packed with oil that it's literally just spontaneously combusting now. Uh, I do have a solution, which is I'm going to chill the top. I'm just gonna make the top cold. <laughs> gonna get these spots which are hot and I'm just gonna cool them down and I'm just gonna pray. Obviously, I don't have a lot of time before this thing just explodes. Uh, so we're going to just go for this. Let this even smaller oil come in, which means it's going to expand even more when it catches on fire, which should increase the amount of force that is generated. Uh, and let's see what happens. Oh no! Ah! Uh... Okay, yeah, I think we need to redesign a new rocket based on based on this. I, I don't think I don't think this one can handle the amount of the amount of power I'm putting into it. This, this has been a really good line of rockets, but we're we've gone beyond a simple getting into the air. Now we have to get real. And so next time I'm gonna come back to you with a new rocket, a new plan, and it's gonna go into orbit. Orbit or bust. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.